SEO or paid ads? What's best for your business? Well, that is the question. And in this video, we're gonna break down our experience across a number of different industries. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Chris Moreno. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Blue Water Marketing, an agency here in beautiful sunny South Florida. And in this video, we're gonna break down how much it costs to do Google Ads or search engine optimization, as well as the time frame that it's going to take you to get to a sustainable revenue number, followed by cost per leads, cost per acquisitions that we're seeing for our clients. So as we all know, search engine optimization is the optimizing of your website to get on certain search engine results pages for various pages of your website. Overall, we need to remember Google ranks pages, not websites. So depending on which are the most important pages for your website will depend on whether or not you're going to rank or you should run paid ads. The first factor in search engine optimization is that it takes a substantial amount of time. We're talking six months, 12 months, 18 months to get ranked for various pages. Now, of course, it doesn't need to take that long. We've published blogs that get ranked within two weeks, but we've also been around for years. So it all depends on the time frame of your website. And if you're looking for more information about how to rank, you can click this video right up here, which we can go over and then you can come back to determine which one's gonna be better for your business, search engine optimization, or paid ads. So we have clients that are spending thousands and thousands of dollars every single month to drive traffic to their website using Google Ads. Then we have clients who are spending thousands of dollars with us who are driving thousands of people to their website for absolutely no cost. Now what we're seeing is even on local business levels, the Google Ads cost per click is going up significantly. We're talking clicks that used to be $6 are now $14 clicks that were $40 are now $86. We're seeing a huge variance of the cost per click across a number of industries. So you have to start weighing the traffic cost for Google Ads versus the cost to optimize your website and slowly get that volume of traffic. Think about it in this manner. Client is getting 350 people a month to their Google Ads spending $6,000 a month or you're spending $2,500 a month to optimize your website and you're getting 350 people. So you're actually saving a significant amount of money by doing search engine optimization. The struggle is the time that it takes. So for example, we have a client that is currently getting 40 to 50 leads via Google Ads. That same client is getting about 25 to 30 leads from Google organic listings. The traffic cost is roughly $6,500 with Google Ads. The traffic cost for the organic is nothing other than what we're doing and what we're getting paid for in order to optimize. So their cost per lead on Google is roughly $120. Their cost per lead on organic search is roughly $65. So although the time frame is different and the number of leads are less, the cost per lead and therefore the cost per acquisition is less than Google Ads. Long story short, search engine optimization is way cheaper in the long run versus Google Ads. The other aspect is that these page one results, unless something happens and you're doing some black hat SEO or you're doing some link building that's a little suspect, those first page results will generally stay there. They fluctuate in the various positions, but you can offset that by more work. You eventually can reduce that search engine optimization budget and or reduce the Google ads budget so you're able to save money in the long run. Additionally, for search engine optimization rather than Google ads, you can target various people in the funnel. So if you are a product like I just did a keyword research video, which you can find right up here, you can start writing blogs about the various funnel that your customers are in. So when they're finally ready to purchase, they can find you. With Google ads, you're introducing potentially a cold audience to your brand, meaning they're going to click on your ad that you get to pay for no matter what, whether they purchase or not, and then potentially be wasting money. Search engine optimization 
you can plan. So if we're seeing a 20% growth month over month from organic traffic, we have an estimation based on the cost per acquisition, the cost per lead, cost per purchases, about what that business is going to do. With Google Ads, you're potentially going to be hindered if someone with some deep pockets comes in and starts bidding on your keywords, or one of your competitors starts clicking on your ad, therefore taking it down because your budget cannot sustain the amount of clicks that are coming through. Now. I know it sounds like this video I'm geared more towards search engine optimization, but it all depends truthfully on what your business is. So for example, we also have a home service client who's absolutely crushing it with Google Ads. And that is because we have become so honed in with the addition of negative keywords and modifiers to ensure that we are bidding only specifically on the keywords that are going to result in phone calls or leads for his business. What's happened is a 23% conversion rate, meaning out of every 10 people, two and a half of them are converting which is astronomically high. And so long story short, SEO, paid ads, it really comes down to what type of business you're in. It also depends on what your margins are going to be on those products or services that you're selling. In understanding that, you're able to identify how much you're willing to pay for a lead or a purchase based on those margins. I personally believe that search engine optimization is the best out of everything, especially with the Facebook ads problems that we're all running into right now with targeting and attribution so search engine optimization is my favorite but that's not to say that paid ads don't make you a lot of money again going back to what is your business what is the service or product that you're selling the margins that you're able to work with to ensure that you remain profitable in whichever one that is that's what's going to be best for your business. If you're looking for more information, go to the Blue Water Marketing forward slash blog, where we have countless articles on a substantial amount of information, whether it's on Google Ads, Facebook Ads, or search engine optimization, and how to use these tools to grow your business. See you guys next week.